everyone, so today I'm going to be doing a makeup look um, and it's just going to be a neutral eye with a little pop of colour. Um, you can sort of use any colour you want but I'm going to be using green um, because I do have green eyes and green does make um, them sort of pop out a bit, um, make them look a bit bigger and sort of complements them. Um, so yeah, I'll get started. Most of the eyeshadows that I'm going to be using um, are pretty cheap drugstore products. Um, I've got a couple from MUA, um, Sleek and just one from Benefit um, but it's a colour that you can easily recreate with any other drugstore products. So the first one I'm going to be taking is Shade One Pearl from MUA and it's this really beautiful light gold colour. I'm going to take this brush which is just the eyeshadow brush from e.l.f. just from the basic line. I'm just going to apply that all over the lid like that and then we're going to be taking a sort of um, a taupey colour like this this is the benefit one and it's in the shade moody and just on a smaller brush like this this is from model zone and it's just their blending brush um, I'm just going to take a small amount of that just blend that right into the crease And it just adds that little bit of definition to your eye. Next you're going to take your colour, so I'm taking another MUA one and this is in shade 5 Pearl. This looks like that, it's a really beautiful green colour. I showed this in my recent haul, um, I absolutely love this colour, it's absolutely beautiful, it really is nice. Just pick up a little bit of that colour and then you're going to want to apply that right to the outer corner and sort of bringing it in slightly. Then you're going to want to take some more of that initial colour that you used, the shade 1 pearl. Take that on the brush and just want to start blending it into the green. So you just want to make that um, first colour more prominent um, as it will have died down because of the green. And you want to make sure it's really like right around the inner corners which really brightens up your eyes um, so yeah just keep applying that next step I'm going to go on to is just taking a fluffy brush and just blending those two lines where they meet okay the next step is just adding um, a sort of out of the um, crease shadow so you're going to want to take um, sort of a dark matte brown uh, I'm using this one from the sleek storm palette this one here it's just a really pretty matte brown so on that small brush that we used before I'm going to take some of that color and start blending it in right to that out of V
Don't worry about harsh lines because we'll blend it out. Just really getting that V shape will really help um, when blending. So taking that fluffy brush again, we're just going to blend that right out. If you don't want it as dark as that, you can use less, but I do like sort of emphasising my eyes quite a bit, um, especially with this sort of look. Um, so I've made it relatively dark just on the outer corner. So it should look something like that. Um, and then all you've got left to do is your highlight. Um, and I'm going to take that first colour again, that MUA really light gold. This is a really beautiful highlight colour. I'm just going to take an angled brush, that's personally what I like to use, but you can use um, sort of this brush that we used first, um, anything really, oh, sorry, um, anything really, so I'm just going to take some of that on here. I prefer these brushes um, to apply highlight just because of the shape of them, it really gets under the brow, um, so yeah, this is the e.l.f. defining eye brush if you were wondering. So I'm just going to apply some of that right at the top there. So that is this makeup look complete. It's just a really pretty natural eye that you can wear sort of every day um, if you sort of tone it down a bit or really go um, sort of elaborate with it and you could use it as a nighttime um, look. So I'll just try and come in so you can see. My camera really does not pick up colour well. Um, but the green is is there and but it's not too loud. You can always add more of the, your chosen colour, um, make it more dark around the edge, more smoky. It's quite a versatile um, look, you can just really do it how you want to do it. I really hope you enjoyed it, I'm sorry about my voice, I seem to be losing it a bit. Um, hopefully it won't completely go. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed it, thank you so much for watching and subscribing if you have. If you haven't and you like this video, then please do. Yeah, so I'll see you soon and I hope you're having a lovely day. Bye.